I am almost unable to take it in. I've been on the road for 55 days and I think I am about to find what I've been looking for. When my journey began, I was traveling on my own. I mean, really on my own, not even with a camera crew. Then I met a group and went into Angola with a primary task of finding the origins of the Okavango. We've reached the Kavango River. This for me is significant. This I did, and at the headwaters collected a sample in a bottle. Then for three weeks with the same group traveled through Angola, ending up in Botswana at the place where the Okavango River enters that country. I've been all this way following flowing water. I've been on the river and in the river and I got stuck in it. You're out there, Andrew? Yeah, no, I'm just trying to walk and keep my shoes on because they want to be left behind in the mud. Look at the river. Can't resist this stuff. And now I am determined to find its final resting place. You see, the Okavango River is unique. It never finds the sea, but instead this vast delta still pristine and almost untouched. The waters of the Okavango Delta drain through two rivers. This one, the Nabe, which flows into Lake Nangami. Lake Nangami is fickle. So it's the following morning, I've climbed up a, a small hill and now overlooking Lake Nangami. If you look very closely behind me, you can see a sliver of silver. That's actually the lake. The lake proper where the bushes are very low and the water is at the moment covering them. This is a vast body of water, not deep, average depth 30 or so centimeters. And it is one of two of the last resting places of the waters of the Okavango. The other is about 200 kilometers away. And I'm gonna take you there now. And this now is the Boteti. So now the, the, the challenge is to, okay, with this Bateti River, this is the, the river we're looking for, but the, the, the challenge is to find the end of it. Where does it actually end? I mean, we know the water is very, very high and you can't drive along the river. So I actually want to find the point where it stops, where the water stops. That's what I'm going to find out. Yeah, it's the most amazing. Again, there's this enormous volume of water. <laughs> Those guys are fishing there. The, the, the person who is helping me conclude my expedition is Kalahari author Mike Main. He knows this area like intimately. <laughs> hey, there are children are running with stomachs like this. Oh. This is the river that takes the water the furthest south. But where does it take it? Normally it dries up somewhere, but this year the water levels are so high that we're struggling to find its end. So what Mike's doing, driving along the river and then going down to see if the water's there. Then coming back up, driving along a bit further, go down to see if the water's there. Trying to guess where the, end, where the end of the water is. But not far back, it was flowing really strongly, so I don't know, my guess is that it's going to be flowing strongly here too. It's uh, not unexpected, eh? What? How high the water is. Yeah, absolutely. I walked across there, uh, I, uh, I can't, last year sometime. Yeah. It was up to the middle of my thighs. Okay. But you won't walk across there now. And there'll be crocodile, hippo in here. Oh. Oh, big, yeah. Right. Just around the corner is uh, Kamaka, well known for its huge pools that persist for years after the, after the rains. Oh, okay. Uh, big crocs in there. Uh, quite warm. Strong flow on the other side. The locals say they haven't seen water this strong in over 20 years. Oh, it's hot too. It's really hot. Mm. 
I think we've a long way to go. How far do you reckon the end is? Well, I think it's very close to Rakops now. Eight weeks ago, we found it 20 kilometers from, 25 kilometers from Rakops. I think we're going to find it very close to Rakops. That, that's at least 100 k's from here. It's it a bit is. More. It is, yeah. yeah, it's more than 100 k's yeah. from here. Uh, this could well get to, uh, it could well, well get to Motopi, which is where it begins to open out into the big delta. Pan there, isn't there? That's Mopipi, uh, Motopi. Mop oh, sorry, is, Mopipi. Yes, this is Motopi. Um, but it's actually the delta. It's a huge delta area of the old delta for the Boteti. Okay. And the water flows into there and it works its way into Ntwetwe Pan and Soa Pan. I don't think it's going to go that far, but it's now beginning to do what it did uh, 30 years ago. Okay. Be nice to see. Everywhere we stop, there is more and more water. People are saying here that they cannot remember when this last happened. What are they going to say about the water at the place where it stops? There indeed is a hippo, resting with the cows. The high water is even too much for him. It's hard to imagine that this amount of water ever ends. But it does. It will never reach the sea. What will we find at its end? I really thought that I was going to be able to conclude my expedition today, but it wasn't to be. It's getting late, so Mike selects a secluded campsite for us, on the outer edge of an area called the Magadi Gadi Pans. You, you did insist on beautiful campsites. I know. I mean, and this country, this, this country where there's absolutely nothing, yeah. I just love it. Well, I don't want you country. to try and photograph sunsets and trees here. The Boteti is about 500 meters that way. Go and sit down in the bank and look for birds again. But we'll take photographs of the sunset. <laughs> Anywhere you like. The fire's over there. I'm going to go around Mark and go the other side. Martin. Yes. Welcome to the Makari Kari Pans. This is, I'm serious. This is actually, in, you, can you see that far, far ridge of tree? You can hardly see them. Yes, I can. That's actually a sand ridge which we crossed over when we were close to the Boteti. Yes. We came up that bank and we came back yes. down. There were yes. lots and lots of trees. Yes. And the, 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 the sheer cliffs of the, of the uh, Boteti, that's the sand ridge. And that marks the westernmost edge of the Makari Kari. So what you're seeing now, this enormous flat, plane of absolutely nothing. This is the beginning. Is the beginning. Wow. My favorite place on the whole earth. Incredible. This is it. It seems fitting that I should conclude what has been one of my most ambitious expeditions in what is probably my favorite place of all, the salt pans of the Makari Kari. Tomorrow I will finally see the end of the Okavango.